locate so in last session uh, we have seen this like uh, if there is a access blocked then we need to contact the developer then we need to add this email id in our this web client id see here we need to add the <coughs> email id is not here where it is uh, what concept string here i have to go and here we need to add the users okay like that we have seen in last session okay if you got this error like access blocked error but what will happen you know is sometimes if it is a web application for example this is a web application this application will use everyone like for for booking for booking tickets anybody can use this application so he, if he logins a means suppose if he try to log in then he cannot contact with developer he will not have that much space and right so it should be publicly available means this uh, login should be publicly av available anybody can log in that we need to develop right then only it will be useful for all otherwise no use of that right so to develop that what we need to do so that today i am going to tell that means uh, in this that is in console.googlecloud.com here what we need to do so uh, we can use this publicly okay so that we will see today okay what you need to do you need to create the project first so what we will do now we will create one project okay and i will tell all the process so please follow that process only okay so what i will do here the name what we can do okay demo demo project will add okay so it is a dem demo project then create okay after creating what we will we need to do we need to go in that uh, that will see later it will take some time so we'll wait for that okay so select your project whatever project you are done select that first okay before that uh, okay select this project then go in external then create okay we are creating now then what we need to do app information you add here app information whatever your app is i will give now demo what demo only a demo project then here add your supportive email id then add here your app domain if you have domain then you can add your domain then here authorized domain we need to add okay authorized domain so what i will do i will use this only so this domain i will add here this is my authorized domain then add here okay domain name so this i have to remove okay in my okay okay sorry 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 here we need to remove this only book yourself.com okay then next what we need to do add here support you email id so what i will do this means to contact developer okay so here we are not doing that like a developer every time we need to contact developer and all but we need to add here email then only it will go continue otherwise it will not work continue okay so see these are the things you need to add a uh, first app name you add then email id then this is important authorized domain so it will give access to all okay so authorized domain you need to add then save and continue okay so this you need to do then after this what you need to do okay save and continue is done then go in credentials go here go in create credential or client id so what we need to select because we are doing this for web application so if you are doing for android and different application then desktop app then you can use for that but i am using now for web application so i'll do web application okay here write your app name and all so i'll keep like that only then here it's very important that is authorized javascript origin here we need to add so here what i will add i will add this whole here http will come okay HTTP and other things will come there I was adding but here it will come okay so this is my domain no name I am adding that is HTTPS I think it is visible right so I have done some zoom and all then here add here direct URL path which URL path you want so for that I have to go in my code so I will go in my code oh, I am in live code only now okay so here I will go then next oh, okay so here it is in services config file so config file then services okay so in services here is my url okay so this i will copy because i want to redirect to this page only 
so this i will copy and i will go here and i will paste it here okay so this i have added see here it is authorized origin means our domain name we need to put with https then here you uh, redirect url we need to put okay then what you need to do then create click on create okay so it will create now okay so uh, you can see here we got here client id and we got here client secret so just copy this client id and go in your code go in dot env file dot env file and paste it there okay i will paste and it will come okay so it is done now i have pasted that because i have done pause and it came so it is done now what i will do again i will go here that i will make it okay okay so now go in auth concept screen okay here main thing you need to see see here publishing status should be what publish app okay it should be publish app then only we can see that means there is no need to add users and uh, means new users and all okay it will be publicly accessible anybody can use anybody can log in anybody can book a ticket with login id and so do here publish app so here your app will be available to any users with a google account okay you do not need to submit your app for verification right verification ka bahut problem hota hai so what uh, there is no need to means here they will not ask verification and or directly you can log in okay but if you have 10 do domains then after that it will ask for verification okay so i will because i want public right so i will do push to production okay so it is publicly available now see my okay so it is now in public mode okay so anybody can access now and anybody can log in so you can go here you can just go to login then sign in with google so what i will do okay okay here we'll try first okay so i'm doing login now sign in to this app you can see here i'm not getting that error right i'm getting direct continue so i can do directly continue see earlier we were getting here error for same melody now you can see directly i can log in right so see like this you can do and you can solve your problem and you can use this social login details uh, sorry social login for your all application and it is publicly available now okay so i hope guys this video is is useful for you guys uh, if you feel it is useful then please guys like share and subscribe to our channel and uh, our target is to make 5k family so as soon as possible we need to finish that target so please guys like share and subscribe to our channel thank you so much audience guys keep supporting us thank you